Well, if you love amazing music that you're going to be able to relate to, you're going to hear a song and some lyrics, you're going to be like, yes, this girl is speaking my language. You need to be at the radio room on October the 8th to hear the amazing Sunny Sweeney. And we are catching up with her right now. Sunny, first of all, your name is amazing. I just love it. <laughs> Thank you. Um, that's actually like, it's funny because I used to hate my name when I was a kid and my, my parents obviously named me that for a reason. And they, they loved that name. And I just was always like, oh, kids pick on me. You know, it's because I mean, it's an easy name to pick on. Um, there was a couple of kids that were pretty rude about it. But as I've gotten older, I'm the only one. So it makes it a lot easier. And I really do cherish the name Sunny Sweeney now. So. And I bet now they're like, oh, we knew that girl could sing. We shouldn't have made fun of her name. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's, let's talk a little bit, Sunny, because you've got a new album out and you're on tour right now. You're currently somewhere on the way to Chattanooga, <laughs> just the, the life of, of a country star. But kind of tell us, you know, how you got your start. I basically wanted to work for myself, you know, and I went to college and got a degree in public relations and ultimately wanted to be an entertainment publicist. Like that was my idea, you know, of what my career was going to be. And then I started working for this company called Lone Star Music when I was in college. And I would go out to see shows for the guy that I worked for, who was a um, paraplegic and he would he would send me out um because it was easier for me to go into clubs you know so I would go in and I would be kind of watching the the bands and stuff and I'd be like man I think I could do that you know I think I could make songs I already write poems so I could just like make them into song like I just in my mind that's what I was thinking and then I went and got a real job after college and did that for 21 days and was just like not for me not for me and so I um called my dad and was like hey I know you tried to teach me guitar when I was 12 but we do it now and he's like I'm sorry what what so, was that buddy yeah could you repeat yourself again louder and so uh. I asked him and um I basically just full force didn't take no for an answer and had a gig like a couple weeks later. It was terrible. It was the worst gig ever. But um, I just kind of did it. And I didn't, I didn't know what I, I still don't know what I'm doing 18 years later, but I really didn't know what I was doing then. So um, that's kind of how it started and just kind of snowballed from there. And now I'm like in it. So there's no way, you know, you can't get out of it now at this point. You are in it. You've got a new album. It's featuring, you know, Vince Gill. He's a legend in the country music, you know, gospel everything he's just amazing what's it like working with him he is just so amazing and you know I really wanted a male harmony on that song and the only person I could think of was him and so I thought I would ask him and if he said no then I would just leave it without and luckily he said that he would do it and there we are that is so cool our producer loves your music she introduced me to grow old with me and so we have been you know jamming to that that's like one of our favorites so just you know, it's just the, the words it's one of those just like oh it's just such a it's, it's a good story she loves a line about you know you're the whiskey i'm more of the beer in the bottle you know what i mean it's just oh it's, that's cute your music is it, just good and now the you know the new stuff are we going to be able to hear you know a little mixture of everything when you come to the radio room Oh yeah. Um, we've been doing, you know, it's weird because when you have 90 minutes to do a, a show, you have about 20 songs that you can do. And now with this record, I've got about a hundred songs recorded. So there's literally no way to do everything. So I kind of have been doing like for the first week of this tour, I've been doing, um, you know, like two songs off my first album, three songs off my second album, four songs off my third album. You know what I mean? Like I've been kind of, you know, mixing it up a little bit, but yeah, we've been doing about four or five off the new album at these shows i love it it's easy to get to i got it on apple music married alone where else can we hear you um you can go on uh, let's see itunes or you can go on spotify or pandora or any of the streaming services or if you want a hard copy um i think they have them on like amazon and stuff too but you can go directly to my website sunnysweeney.com um and all the links for my social media and everything are on there as well so it's just like one general place just to head over to to get all the information you need well sunny swinney a great sad you know we're just one day apart you're december 7th i'm the 8th so you know it's just oh, really? our season yes all right <laughs> let's go i love it so again sunny swinney is going to be at the radio room on october the 8th at six o'clock we are going to play now sunny as we let you go we're going to play one of the songs from your new album so people can get a little taste and get those tickets 
Thank you so much. It was so nice meeting you in person, Sonny. Nice meeting you too. I hope to see you soon.